When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to botanical gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock door shrugged and opened with a grinding sound. Opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. The dark ones came much later. From the garden's direction. The dark ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here?
up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan! I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. We found this place a while ago, but I still can't get used to it. <laughs> Strange place, this deep. Привет, Артём! Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Uh, that's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me to the order. Well, anyway, the way it works. Come on, you have five more sets of 30. Did you hear what happened to Romano's group? Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the army. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. All right, now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom. The choice of weapons is completely up to you. Shotguns are always good for stopping power at close range. <laughs> Just don't go trying to snipe with one. I always carry a pistol. Sturdy, reliable, and... Active. All right, Artyom. Head over to my range and try out those guns. Come back if you want to try a different gun. Hey, Artyom, put on the show for me, huh? Try out the rest of the weapons you chose. Weapons down! Try shooting for the center of the regular gun. Good shot! Now shoot the armor down it. Notice the difference? It's going to take more bullets to penetrate the armor. Look for sparks to know Try a headshot. That's the critical hit. Notice the difference? Those are the basics. You can keep practicing if you want, or head on up to Miller's briefing. You're not to be caught the fact that they did something to sure. anyone in the metro. Miller's no calling the group leaders the in. There's clear. going to be a big assembly. Please depart. This is a good response. So, you're an expert on hell and... The Colonel has Pay forbidden no attention to this cloud, well Alex. Area. Open the gates! Our reckon team was lost yesterday, in one of the side tunnels. Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check with the guards at the lab. Code 44. What the hell did he do? Opening up! 
All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel and wild steeds and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The Colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, the base the order dreamed of finding. Guys just came back from the ring. They say cancer is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to the palace. Hey. Anyone know what the buzz is about? Why the summons? Miller ordered all our men assembled here. Kerman, this take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm? But we're trying to communicate. Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God. You have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Orders ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Orter's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming. And I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, 
Maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind. Or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? If Lesnitsky... Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them, so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. Well, we've worn this place out. Let's move. <laughs> 